guys my name is sishi and i am going to teach you all the uh, all some important uh, chapters so today i am going to teach uh, explain synthetic fibers and plastic so let us start our video so first is introduction so in introduction let us know about what is fiber so it is a smallest repeated unit of fabric or cloth for example large units of bricks make the building this means one one brick uh, comes the form a building so types of fragments are based on the source one is natural fibers that means comes from nature nature artificial fiber or man made fiber or synthetic fiber so first natural fiber obtained from natural resources like plants and animals for example cotton jute these are obtained from cotton is obtained from uh, cotton is obtained from from cotton plant and jute is obtained extracted from co uh, coconut and silk is obtained from cocoons and wool is obtained from uh, uh, sheep so this silk and wool is animals and cotton and jute are plants okay then next so let us know about properties of natural fiber so here there are nine properties of natural fiber so first property natural fiber he on heating produces ash and it absorbs more water and takes more time to dry and they form wrinkles when they get wet so it is on rough and harsh except silk that means except the silk will be smooth as compared to other natural fibers so natural natural fibers loses their color easily natural fibers are heavy in weight natural fibers are not durable natural fibers are not even in size so you can see here this is the cotton plant and see here natural fiber cotton will be like this and wool and silk so this is all known as jute so here you can observe that this is uh, this you can observe that uh, the, these are the properties of natural fiber and these are the pictures okay next let us see about synthetic fiber and its properties synthetic fibers and its properties synthetic fibers obtained from petrochemicals for example nylon acrylic rayon polyester these are the examples of synthetic fibers that means synthetic fibers are man made fibers which are obtained from chemicals okay then properties of uh, synthetic fibers first synthetic fiber on heating produces smell like burning of plastic synthetic fiber absorbs less amount of water the synthetic fiber take uh, more water time to lose their color uh synthetic fiber is more durable and less in weight so you can see in third point i would like to say they will lose their color but as compared to the natural fiber they take more time to lose their color and next is form they form wrinkles when they, they do not form their wrinkles when they when they get wet so it is smooth and soft and it is even in size even in size that means uniform in thickness so synthetic fibers are also made up of polymers so you can observe here these are the properties of synthetic fibers which is quite caught quietly opposite to natural fibers so here we uh, we listen about what uh, different what polymer so let us know about polymer before knowing the definition of polymer and about it let us know about small concept monomer what is monomer the repeated small unit to make a large quantity polymer known as monomer so that means i told you i told you before example one uh, the large uh, so many bricks combine to form a building that means one one brick uh, will be as monomer and the building will be as polymer let us see polymer many such small units uh, like monomer are combined to form a large unit as polymer is known as polymer that means many monomers combine to form a polymer see means many bricks combine to form a building so i will give you a small example that is you can see here this small small beads are present and the chain here see these small small beads are monomers and the chain is polymer see here the beads combine to form a chain like that only polymers the monomers combine to form a polymer so polymer also occur in nature too so for example the polymer called cellulose cellulose is made up of large number of units of glucose means large number of glucose is ready to made up of polymer cellulose so let us know about some information about synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are created by known as polymerization which involves combining monomers here synthetic fibers are made up of the process polymerization so here in polymerization like monomers are involved to make a long a long chain or polymer the word polymer long chain or polymer so okay you can see here how do the word polymer came the word polymer comes from a greek prefix poly which means single unit each single unit of polymer is called monomer preparation of nylon 
the first it is a synthetic fiber raw materials are coal water air preparation obtained from polymer uh, uh, preparation obtained from polyamide what is amide carboxylic acid that is means conh2 or cooh plus amines so here i uh, i would like to give the reaction R bond CONH2 means R bond C bond OH plus H bond HN bond R. On dissolving water, it gives R bond C bond and H bond R. Means they mix this this compound in water. So here R is an element which belongs to R, which belongs to alkaline group. So here I can write in R plus H or hydrogen or sodium or potassium or which belongs to alkaline group. So next, in dicarboxylic acid, hexamethylene diamine, it gives polyamide plus water. The chemical formula is this, NHCOC bond, CH24, the bond, double bond of carbon and oxygen, OH, COOH plus N bond, H bond and CH2 taken twice bond NH2. So polyamide on heating, it gives the molten form of polyamide. So when we heat the polyamide, it will give molten form of polyamide. It is the pass through this heating spinneret. See, and it is solidified by cooling and then we will get nylon fabric. By this process, we will get nylon fabric. See, you can, uh, nylon fabric is also used in ropes uh, and uh, this is the nylon fabric. Let us see. Characteristics of nylon fabric. It is strong, elastic, durable. Means like uh, elasticity is more in uh, uh, nylon and synthetic fibers are always strong and durable. It is lustrous, it is less in weight, easy to wash. It does not absorb water. The, means it, is, uh, it absorbs less water actually. Okay. Disadvantage and advantages of nylon fabric. So what are the disadvantages? So disadvantages. We should not wear nylon cloths while during cooking, welding, working near fiber and using heavy machinery reason nylon fabric catch fire easily if we work near the fireworks the nylon fabric will attract to the fire and the dress will be born burn see what are the prevention we wear an apron while doing the uh, welding and working near fireworks you just wear the apron on the nylon fabric then you can prevent easily from the fireworks so reason uh, we can wear nylon in nylon uh, nylon clothes in water it is suitable for swimming because reason is swimmer made out of uh, nylon is very light here the nylon fabric is very light as we know in weight and die faster if we if we swim in water actually it does not absorb uh, more water so we uh, we can uh, swim easily which makes uh, ideal to aquatic use okay then so advantages of nylon fabric actually it is used for toothbrushes bristles and saris and car seats belts tent stocking socks carpets fishing net sails ropes dressing materials umbrella these are the advantages of nylon fabric so next Preparation of rayon fabric. How do we prepare rayon fabric? Actually, preparation obtained from plant cellulose. It is collected from wood pulp or bamboo pulp. Take a plant cellulose and dissolve in sodium hydroxide. So, I, we should take a plant cellulose. I told you, uh, means uh, large uh, monomers of glucose units. So, uh, dissolve in sodium hydrate and carbon disulfide. Then, after dissolving, it produces viscous solution. Then, pass through this to spinneret into disulfide. It uh, produces into disulfide furic acid it produces silk like thread so these are cleaned with soap so after cleaning and drying these silk like threads it produces a rayon fiber so on spinning the rayon fiber it gives rayon thread on weaving these threads uh, the rayon cloth is formed this is the preparation of rayon fabric on spinning and on uh, on spinning weaving and by mixing the chemicals and here the spinner it will pro will uh, roll an important um, role in our uh, synthetic fibers because for every synthetic fiber it will be used for preparation so 
let us know about its properties and its uses it looks like artificial silk and it's soft it is soft and strong it is cheaper than silk even though it is an artificial fiber the rayon forms wrinkles here we know about artificial fiber properties the artificial fiber properties are the they does not form uh, wrinkles when they get wet but here the rayon form wrinkles it is semi synthetic fiber that is why it is semi synthetic fiber it looks like silk and it is uh, from wrinkles reason prepared from plant cells it has actually done not prepared from uh, not mixed uh, we mixed some chemicals but uh, actually the we mixed some less chemicals but if as we compare to nylon we less, uh, less chemicals means nylon we mix more chemicals and dissolve in chemicals like sodium hydroxide carbon sulfide it is absorb water so that it is easily uh, broken or cut so the the uses of rayon fabric are bandages diapers fashion home furnishing lint for dressing wound sanitary products rayon plus cotton gives bed sheets and the combination of rayon plus uh, some fabric uh, gives some new products means like rayon plus cotton bed sheets rayon plus wool uh, carpets see here the pictures are given see bandages these are the made up of rayon so let us the preparation of arkelic the required materials are coal air water oil limestone it is prepared by two methods one dry spinning and wet spinning what is about dry spinning take the dissolved polymer extracted then then keep it in the warm air then the fiber is solidified by evaporation then we get the arkelic fiber is formed by spinning the arkelic ion is formed by weaving the arkelic fiber is formed and wet spinning the dissolved polymer is extracted into wash and then arkelic fiber is formed by spinning by spinning arkelic ion or the arkelic thread is formed by weaving arkelic cloth is produced the the difference between the dry spinning and wet spinning is nothing but they extracted into warm air but in wet spinning they extracted and bath and then dried it looks like artificial wool it is also known as fake fur it is looks like artificial wool. see here we can see some a uh, fake fur and all uh, and artificial wool okay so next about blending and polyester blending what is about blending process of combination of one or more than one fiber known as blending see combination of one or more fiber there means one or two fibers like that. significance it reduces limitation combining fiber and possess the best qualities of combining fibers for example see cotton plus polyester give blending fiber it means it will produce a new product about polyester we let us see it is a synthetic fiber which is pre prepared by chemicals it is also a synthetic fiber so it does not form wrinkles easily it is a easy to e e e easy to wash and it is not dura durable for a long time polyester monomerous to ester means monopolous ester gives the polyester so ester what is the meaning of ester carboxylic acid plus alcohol general equation is r carb see r bond carbon double bond with oxygen bond oh plus h bond o bond r that gives r carbon double bond with oxygen o bond o r or r c o simply we can write like this preparation it is prepared in three ways first method is n di uh, n moles of di carboxylic acid plus n dihydro hydric as uh, alcohol on dissolving in water gives polyester or n moles of acid plus n uh, n moles of dicarbolic acid plus n moles of dihydric uh, alcohol on heating uh, n moles of water it gives polyester on heating or on dissolving it will get polyester and also taking the adipic acid and mixing some chemicals formulas it gives the polyester these are the three methods to form polyester what are the properties of polyester it blends very well with natural fiber actually it is blend it blends uh, uh, actually it blends with natural fiber only so for example terylene plus cotton here uh, terylene is one of type of polyester and cotton is a natural uh, fiber gives terry cotton terry terylene plus wool it gives terry wool it catch fire like nylon polyester it can convert into different shapes and sizes reason why polyester can be easily molten and spun 
So, uses of polyester, bottles, films, container, wires, utensils. So, next. So, I am going to next topic, types of bottles. What are the types of, how many types of there are bottles? Six types of bottles are there and the, these bottles are also having some code numbers. So, let us see. First bottle is PET, polyethylene terephthalate. Its full name is polyethylene terephthalate. Code number is 1 and it is can be used for water bottles, soft drinks, bo soft drink bottles, wire, fillings, tennis ball. These are the uses of this PET. And HDPE, that means high density polyethylene. Code number 2. It can be used for buckets, film, dustbin, tubes, pipes, and etc. PVC, the PVC, polyethylene chloride. Polyvinyl chloride, sorry. Okay then. Code number is 3. It can be mainly used for only pipes. Okay then. LDPE, low density polyethylene. Code number 4. It can be used for flexible pipes, carry bags, toys, etc. And let us see some two bottles and, and plastics. PP, polypropylene. Code number 5. It can be used for seat covers, TV cabinets, refrigerators, bag, lining materials, etc. PS, polystyrene. Code number 6. It can be used for coffee cups, packing, peanuts, egg boxes, etc. Plastics. Plastic is a polymer-like synthetic fiber, but in plastic, monomer are arranged. So here, we learned about the plastic definition. Means, plastics are, uh, are arranged in two forms. Linear arrangement and cross-linked arrangement. Here, linear arrangement, see, the monomers are arranged in a linear way. That means, straight way. But here, in the monomers are arranged in a uh, crisscross way means like cross way okay then this is the arrangement of plastic and next properties of plastic and types of plastic plastic are non-reactive plastic does not form uh, air on it uh, plastics are more durable means does not form actually rust on it so it is non-reactive that's why it does not form rust means it is non-reactive with air Plastic are more durable. Plastic are light in weight and strong. Poor conductors of electricity. Non-biodegradable. And there are two types of plastics. One is thermoplastic and next one is thermosetting plastic. Properties of thermoplastic. The monomers are arranged in linear arrangement in thermoplastic. See, the monomers are arranged in a linear way. I told in the previous slide, linear arrangement. So, it is a good conductor of heat. It does not lose its plasticity. It can be used for toys, combs, containers, etc. And let us see about thermoplastic. Uh, in the word the thermoplastic, the thermo means heat and the plastic means hard. That means which cannot be molded into, cannot form into paper. For example, bakelite and melamine. Properties, cross-linked arrangement, poor conductors of heat, they lose their plasticity. That means they does not produce heat readily. They lose their plasticity. Why? They are actually non-reactive. They lose their plasticity means actually plastics are ready to dissolve but ready to molten. But these uh, pl thermosetting plastics are not easily melted. Uses of bakelite. So here I saw, I said the examples of bakelite. Uh, I say exam, examples of thermoplastics are bakelite and melamine. So let us uh, see uh, uses of bakelite. Handles of utensils and making electrical appliances including switchboard and also used as alternative fun peel and jade. Uses of melamine, computer and TV cabinets, kitchenware and utensils. So, what I am going to say about types of substances. There are two types of substances. These are based on the bacterial act action. So, one is biodegradable substance. That is, the substance which reacts with bacteria and then decomposes is known as biodegradable. See, which I thrown and which we thrown some waste. It is actually decomposed as uh, as some soil or like that. So. It will decompose. That is known as biodegradable substance. As coming to second type, it is non biodegradable substance. The substance which reacts with the bacteria and that which does not decompose is known as non biodegradable. So, uh, okay then. Here we see that in biodegradable, the bacteria action is produced, but in non biodegradable, the non bacteria action is not produced. So, next is.
four r principle what is about four r principle the four r principle is nothing but the words which are used to reduce the non biodegradable substance and reuse the plastic and refuse the pollution gases and then recover the environment simply this is the statement of four r principle but i will give you the definitions of those reduce reduce uh, uh, reduce the usage of plastic we should uh, reuse plastic again and again its optimum opti optimum utilization recycle all the plastics uh, things are not recycled that means reason cost of recycling is more than code containing plastics that means the code containing plastic means code 1 code 2 code 6 these uh, codes containing plastics bottles uh, cannot be recycled why because they take uh, they take um, 40 manufacturing machines means that is uh, uh, that is a waste of time then recover it plays an important role in our solid waste management so that's all and please uh, share like and subscribe thanks for watching my video and to get more videos please share and like thank